Welcome Brandy, and next to her, her mother Shannon, back to the Maury Show. Eight years ago, Brandy and Shannon appeared on our show because when she was then 13, Brandy was a destructive, out of control teen. And Shannon called us desperate to tame Brandy's wild ways. Back then, take a look at this. But the other day, 40 teenagers showed up at my door trying to fight my 13 year old little girl. 40 teenagers showed up outside your house. 40. Trying was... to fight your daughter. They, no, what, they were fighting my daughter. What had she done? Um, it was over, boys. 40 teenagers showed up at my house to fight me. You think I was scared? Hell no. I've used rocks and bats to beat the hell out of somebody. I told you I'm not playing. You think this is funny? Yep. 40 I'm kids up. showing up at your house? Yep. Oh, by the way, you're going to beat all 40 of them. No. I could have if I want. After the show. We sent Brandy to where her mother feared her uncontrollable ways would land her, a funeral home. I don't know what I'd do if I lost you. Because I love you more than anything in this world. And you have to stop. And that moment was a turning point for Brandy and Shannon. In fact, <laughs> mother and daughter have been inseparable ever since then. But today, they called us once again for help. Because you see, Brandy's in love with a man named Andre. And she hopes to marry him. But just last week, Shannon says she spotted Andre coming out of a store with his arm around another woman. <laughs> so obviously, Shannon and Brandy have asked us to give Andre a lie detector test. OK. <laughs> but Brandy. I'm more interested in the good stuff. How has life changed in the last eight years? Life has changed completely, Maury. My... <laughs> I have went from being the destructive teenager that you just seen to I have my own job now. I have my own house now. <laughs> my... My life has completely changed for the better. Isn't that great? And not that it's not great to see you today, Maury, but I'm very pissed off that I am on this show because I have to get lie detector tests for my boyfriend. For your boyfriend. How long have you all been going together? It made a year about two weeks ago. Okay. Now, uh, how was the relationship when it first started? It was perfect when it first started. He was everything that I wanted, everything that I could have asked for. Right. Okay. Everything changed. When? about three months into the relationship. Right. There was females texting me, even going to my family, telling me that my boyfriend has been trying to come and see them. Shannon, what did you see him do one day? Well, I was coming out of the store, and I looked over when I was getting in my car, and he was walking with his arm around another girl. I yelled for him. Yeah. I, I yelled for him. I said, Andre. He goes, just like this, and took off. So I jump in my car, I try to get over there as quick as I can, by the time I got over there, he was gone. So I called my daughter and I told her, and I said, Brandy, I just seen him with a girl. And she said, no, mom, he's at home. So I hurry up and rush by her house, and nobody's there. As I was pulling off, here comes the car that I seen him get into at the store. Yep. You, you know what Andre You need to get says? your vision checked. says you have bad vision. Yeah, okay. No. You have bad vision, I've seen and it him. wasn't, it, it was, was him. not he. It, it and was I know him, Maury. He's yeah, a liar. He's a li this man lies so much, he believes his own lies. Yeah. It's yeah, like he, he doesn't does. know how to tell the truth. What'd you find on Facebook? I found three different girls. They do not use their pictures. They do not use their names. Right. They are, Facebooks. They're making fake Facebooks trying to talk to my boyfriend behind my back. Oh. Yeah. Did you see a text he sent to another woman? He yeah. texted another woman telling her he couldn't talk right now because I'm around. Oh. Yeah, not right there. Did you show that to him? I showed it to him. And what did he say? He's not trying to cheat on me. That's his friend from, from oh. Chicago. Well, here's the thing, Shannon. If she's growing up, if she has a job, if she has a house, if she's li living independently, why are you involved in her life? She has had very bad relationships. They've cheated on her. And I really, really was hoping this one was different. He, he seems so nice at first. I'm an innocent so... man. No, you're not. No, you are not. No, no, you're not. You need to mind your business. I think that 
Yeah. Men are very good. I'm telling you, men are very good at putting up fronts. They can put up very a front good. and they can tell you, oh, I, you know, I'll be good to your daughter, this and that, and then you get this. Didn't you find some glitter on his face one time? I did. I came home from work one day. He came in a little bit after me. I hadn't touched him yet. He, I found glitter on his eyebrow. I asked him where the glitter came from. Of course, his yeah. excuse is it came off of me. That's not the case, Maury. I didn't touch that man before I seen that glitter on his face. I see. He's a liar, liar. And what happened on your 21st birthday? Okay, so this is the worst of it all. Really? On my 21st birthday, I went out like any normal 21-year-old girl would do, and I got drunk. Yeah. I did. <laughs> but... <laughs> My boyfriend brings me home, everything's okay, till I get sick. I have my face over a toilet. My boyfriend, I thought he was a good man. He's sitting here holding my hair back, everything he should be doing. I look up at him, he's on the phone with his ex-girlfriend while he's holding my hair yeah. back. Yeah. Well, I'm liar. sure that like Andre said, has explanations for yeah, everything. I'm sure he does. Here he, he is. Not. Andre, come on out. <laughs> You're innocent. Yes, I'm innocent. No, he's not, Maury. And no, Sammy, he is not, need, Maury. Sammy, you need to go get your vision checked, because that wasn't and me saying. you need not to talk to my mother like that. Oh, my yeah. mother is perfectly fine. Oh, fine. You need not to talk to my mother like that. Yeah. You're not cheating on her, right? No, I love he's her. He's lying, Maury. He's lying. He's been cheating on me forever. these text messages that go back and forth? What, what, what's all that and the no, Facebook that, messages? That's the uh, text message you're talking about right here. Yeah. That's when uh, we got in an argument, and, uh, and you know, we had split up for a couple no, days. No, we did not, Maury. Yes. We did not split up when this text yes. message yes. came in. We but were I together. Never, I, never I thought went to everything go see this was good girl. in our relationship. Right. And the other one is from somebody I used to go to school with in seventh grade when I lived in Chicago. <laughs> I'm telling the truth. I'm telling Andre. the truth. Yeah. But you admit that the relationship apparently has changed lately, right? Yeah, she's always accusing me of stuff all the time. To I where have a reason it's, to it's accuse him. To, He's a cheater. Stop cheating, yeah. It's getting to where I, I found text messages in her phone. Why she wants to sit up here and look all innocent. He's lying, yeah, Lori. Okay. He has never Whatever. caught me doing anything. Whatever. I've never cheated on this Whatever. man. I, I, I've, I've never, never cheated on her. Never. He's been faithful to him the whole time. Hasn't even looked at another I, guy. I've never, yeah. ever cheated on this man. I'm not a whore. When I'm in a relationship, yes. I'm in a relationship with that yes. person. Yes. yes. Andre, how about the glitter on your face? Man, it could have came from her makeup from I anywhere. I did not touch it you. Glitter. I did not touch you. That makeup could not have came from me. Apparently, one of, the, one of the problems in, in, in all of this, this social media drive you nuts, is uh, the so-called FaceTime, right? What's going on with FaceTime? Oh, man, she's always, she'll ask me to go to the store. As soon as I walk out the door, she's FaceTime me. I got bags in my hands. Well, Maury, you know, I, I would not phone. be telling him to FaceTime me if I didn't have a reason exactly. to. He yeah, has given yeah. me reason after reason to have to know where he is at at all times. Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. telling you, FaceTime is ruining anybody who wants to cheat. <laughs> Uh, it's just a thing. I've never been with another Nobody woman since we've been Nobody can ruin a relationship together. but the two people yeah. in the relationship. Well, like I said, I love, I love you, Brandy, and I would never cheat on you. And so. I love you, too, but if you fail these lie detector tests today, we're done. Okay. Right. Are you ready? Did you sleep with a woman Brandy's mother caught you with at the store? You said no. The lie detector determined you're telling the truth. That's one. That's one. That's only one. Have you ever erased Facebook and text messages to cover up the fact that you cheated on Brandy? You said no. The lie detector determined you're telling the truth. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love you, Brandy. I never cheat I'm on you. I'm in shock man. right now. But we got we got the big one here. We got the big one. During your relationship with Brandy, have you had sexual contact of any kind with any other woman? You said no. The lie detector determined you are telling the truth. <laughs> Brandy. Brandy. 
I want, I want you to hear something. I want you to hear something. Andre passed my test with flying colors. You, you have yourself a good man. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you, Thank you, you Ralph. Thank you, Mark. Thank you very much. You are not the father.